as per ug 36 t3 small openings in the vessel not subjected to rapid fluctuations of the pressure do not require the reinforcement other than that which is inherent in the vessel let's say we are having one shell and we are having small opening then for that we don't have to provide any reinforcement calculation whatever extra available thickness in shell that is sufficient for that that is what they are saying however if you actually check it it may or may not pass but they have given the waiver for the small opening we don't have to perform the reinforcement calculation so even if you want to perform it's up to you so many customers want that for small openings also reinforcement calculation to be checked but if you are even going for the use time vessel and for the small openings if you don't perform uh, this uh, reinforcement calculation and if it is for uh, it, is, it is satisfying all the ug 363 requirement then reinforcement calculations are not required let's say uh, in ug 363 they have given the diameter which uh, to be a, uh, below which we should consider it as a small opening and above which it should be a normal opening and below which we should not do any reinforcement calculation so if your vessel is welded brace or the flare connection or the fluid connection meeting the applicable rules in this ug 363 as a finished opening and should not be larger than here they have put in the limit if your nozzle opening now they are discussing about the opening if the opening diameter is less than 89 mm or 3 and 1/2 inch in that case reinforcement calculations are not required for the shells or the heads where your minimum required thickness for that shell is less than 10 what do you mean by minimum required thickness the thickness which is required for that pressure by the formula whatever answer we are getting that thickness should be less than 10 if it is less than 10 means the uh, pressure is less so they have allowed till 89 mm diameter you should consider any opening as a small opening and if your required thickness is more than 10 means you are dealing with the higher pressure so they have limited this diameter from 89 to 60 mm that is 2 and 3 by 18 which is 60.3 but they have rounded up to 60 mm so what they have given so if your required thickness of the parent component is less than 10 we are not talking about the nominal thickness required thickness for that pressure is less than 10 then 89 mm is the criteria and if your required thickness is more than 10 means their pressure is on very higher side now we are going to start with strength and design of finished opening so what we are going to cover under this topic is the openings in cylindrical or conical shells or form head that shall be reinforced to satisfy the requirements of ug 37 except as given in ug 36 c3 in ug 36 c3 the code has given us the guidelines under which for small openings we are not required to perform a reinforcement calculation for all other nozzles ug 37 requirements uh, needs to be satisfied for the cylindrical conical or the form head then openings in flat head if there is a blind flange or flat head in that there are multiple openings or single opening for that uh, which reinforcement calculation methodology or formula is to be followed in that case we have to follow ug 39 ug 37 is not directly applicable we have to go to ug 39 and then from that we have to refer to the applicable clauses it may um, uh, it may direct us to ug 36 ug 37 etc but we have to go to ug 39 for the openings in flat head then as per ug 36 a small openings in a vessel need not uh, which are not subjected to a rapid fluctuations in the pressure do not require reinforcement other than that which is inherent in the construction of the following means what the code is saying that if there is a small opening by definition they have given the various sizes for certain criteria so if the nozzle opening is below that value then we can consider it as a small opening and for that we need not to perform any reinforcement calculation whatever inherent inherent means within whatever within reinforcement is there means let's say for an example we have uh, uh, we have selected 8 mm as a shell thickness but 8 mm was not required 6.5 only was required so instead of 6.5 we have gone for 8 because of the market available now there is a margin of 1.5 that is an extra material available as a reinforcement similarly the same case happens with your nozzle 
the nozzle's required thickness may not be directly available in the market. The thicknesses are available as per the schedule. So we are uh, choosing the nearest schedule. So in that also certain margin will be there. We are going to weld these nozzles with the vessel. That welding is also a kind of reinforcement that we are providing in that area. So whatever these reinforcement is there, that would be sufficient. And for that, we need not to perform any reinforcement calculation per se. That is what is the meaning of this. So as per UG 3063, small openings in a vessel not subjected to rapid fluctuations in the pressure do not require the reinforcement other than that which is inherent in the construction under the following conditions. What are those conditions? Let's see one by one. So uh, they have categorized it in the three different parts or the two different parts rather we can say. One is the welded brace and fluid connection. Whenever we are saying it's welded brace or fluid connection means what? If the vessel is welded, the construction of it is welded construction. In that case, uh, the opening size which can be considered as a small opening or below which we should consider the nozzle opening as a small. Remember, this is not the nozzle size. This is the nozzle opening. That is the opening available in the shell after having the nozzle placed in that vessel. So that opening size is defined as 89 millimeters in diameter in a vessel where the required thickness for that vessel is less than or equal to 10. Means what? Let's say we consider one cylindrical pressure vessel. Let's say one cylinder. Uh, we are going to calculate the thickness for internal pressure by UG27 as thickness is equal to PR upon AC minus 0.6. We will get some value. If that value, that is the required thickness, if it is less than 10 or equal to 10, in that case, till 89 mm diameter, whatever opening size is there, those will be considered as a small openings and for which we need not to perform any reinforcement calculation if we satisfy all the requirements of UG36 uh, C3. Then the next size is 60 mm. They have limited it to 60 mm diameter if the required thickness of your vessel is more than 10. What is happening as the thickness is going to be more than 10? As it is going to be more than 10 means there is a higher pressure or higher diameter. So the risk is more. To protect that safety or to have that uh, factor safety in mind, it has been reduced the uh, size of that opening from 89 to 60. Now only 60 mm diameter uh, till 60 mm diameter the opening size will be considered as small opening and above which it should be considered as a normal opening for which we need to perform UG37 reinforcement calculation. So here if your required thickness is more than 10 then the limit would be 60 millimeters and if it is less than 10 then the limit would be 89 mm diameter. Now this is for welded brace and fluid connection. What if we are having the threaded threaded or expanded connection? If you are having threaded, studded and expanded connection, in that case, there is no requirement given on the required thickness of your parent shell or the parent vessel or parent head. Here, they have directly limited the size to 60 millimeter. If you are having a threaded connection, in that case, the opening of that size or the hole, which is going to be cut in the vessel, should not be having larger than 60 mm as the diameter. So for vessel, there are two criteria or we can say, for welded brace and tool connection, there are two criteria. If your parent thickness, required thickness is less than 10, then 89 mm is the small opening maximum size. And if it is more than 10, if the parent vessel thickness required is more than 10 mm, in that case, uh, the maximum size of an unreinforced opening could be 60 mm, above which you cannot have unreinforced opening. For that, you need to perform the reinforcement calculation. And for threaded brace and uh, threaded, threaded and the expanded connection, the maximum size of unreinforced opening is 60 millimeter in diameter. Now this, uh, this is related to the size of the opening. That what size of opening should be considered as a small opening. But is there any criteria about the spacing of these openings? So let's say in a pressure vessel, there are multiple openings like a small opening. Let's say there are a 50 NB or a DN50 size uh, 8 nozzles those are very closer to each other so in that ca case also we should not consider the reinforcement calculation so for that the central spacing requirement has been given in the code what is that central spacing requirement 
if we are dealing with the cylindrical pressure vessels or conical pressure vessel in that case no two isolated unreinforced opening should be closer to each other than the following diameter which is equal to the addition of the diameters means what let's have a diagrammatic view of it so let's say this is one cylindrical pressure vessel this is one small opening this is another small opening this is having a diameter d1 and this is having a diameter d2 so the meaning of this clause is the center to center spacing which is in this case d that should be equal to or more than d1 plus d2 if this spacing is been maintained then each individual opening can be considered as a separate isolated opening and in that case we need not to perform unreinforced or reinforcement calculation for this small opening but if this diameter is or this center to center spacing is less than the sum of d1 and d2 in that case we need to perform reinforcement calculations as per ug 37 so this is very important clause that what should be the this is applicable only for the two openings no two isolated unreinforced openings should be closer to each other uh, small openings have their centers closer to each other than the sum of their individual diameters so d should be more than or equal to d1 plus d2 this is true for your distance also if you are having distance and there are two nozzles in that case also the same criteria will be applicable uh, for the two openings the center to center spacing should be equal to or more than the addition of the whole diameter that is d1 and d2 so d should be greater than or equal to d1 plus d2 this is very important now again the next <clears throat> if there are cluster of three or more unreinforced opening in that case no two unreinforced openings means which are uh, under consideration no two unreinforced openings in a cluster of cluster means group in a group of or in a cluster of three or more unreinforced openings shall have their centers closer to each other than the following criteria so no two unreinforced openings should be closer to each other than what has been mentioned below if these openings are fall under a cluster of openings which is a uh, which is a group of three or more openings so let's have again diagrammatic view for openings on the cylindrical and conical shell now this is our cylindrical shell this is one unreinforced opening this is another and this is another so total there are three unreinforced openings which are having the size which has been given in ug 36 which falls under the criteria of small opening but if these are the small openings then there if the diameter is d1 for this opening for this opening the diameter is d2 now the line joining these centers is nothing but the central spacing between them so here the central spacing is d1 so this d1 earlier we have seen if there are only two openings then this d1 should be more than or equal to d1 plus d2 but since here there are more than three openings in such a cases this d1 should be more than or equal to the criteria which is mentioned below now let's say this is axis this is a vessel axis if we see this this is a center line or the longitudinal axis of your vessel we know that uh, the l seam which is the most critical seam in case of cylindrical pressure vessel why so because it fails in circumferential stresses which are twice to that of longitudinal stresses so along this direction we will face twice stress as compared to the circumferential direction so in longitudinal direction we will be having twice stress than circumferential direction and hence if the nozzle opening is created along the length then that will be having the maximum stresses or that is supposed to uh, have the maximum stresses and if that opening is along the circumferential direction in that case it will be having the lesser stress so how to take care of these stress variation in the cylindrical pressure vessel along the length and perpendicular to the length so for that the angle theta comes into the picture angle theta is nothing but the line joining the centers of these two openings let's say we are joining the centers of these two openings and this is the longitudinal axis of that vessel. so this is our theta so the maximum distance or the d1 which should be more than or equal to 1.5 plus uh, one, uh, 1 plus 1 1.5 cos theta into d1 plus d2 now why this 1.5 cos theta comes into the picture let's say 
this opening is exactly on this line so what will happen theta becomes zero cos zero will be one so it will be one plus one point five it becomes two point five so the center to center distance d1 should be more than or equal to 2.5 times of d1 plus d2 that is the worst case possible but what if this theta is 90 degree means this nozzle is oriented in the vertical direction in circumferential direction where it will be having a minimum stress in that case this cos theta theta becomes 90 degree cos 90 is zero so this 1.5 cos uh, 90 will be zero so only d1 plus d2 which is Uh, apply uh, which is uh, comparable to our last thing where we will be having only two openings there also it should be more than or equal to d1 plus d2 and here also it will be more than or equal to d1 plus d2 if your theta is 90 degree so along this direction the central spacing between two unreinforced openings should be more than or equal to the addition of their center or addition of their uh, diameter so there, therefore in vertical condition Theta becomes 90, cos 90 is zero. So we'll get d1 must be more than or equal to d1 plus d2. And in longitudinal direction, which is the worst case, theta becomes zero, cos zero is one, and it becomes 2.5. Why it is so? Because in case of cylindrical pressure vessels, we are having different stresses along the length and circumferential to the uh, and in circumferential direction. That's why this variation has captured through this cos theta. Now. Whenever we are dealing with a dished end and there are uh, more than three openings in a cluster, and we are calculating the center to center spacing between them, again the same thing for openings in dished end. Now here, along the length or perpendicular to the length, in case of dished end, there is no variation in the stresses is going to happen because of the axis of your vessel. So in this case. there is no question of coming that theta into the picture there are no variety of the stresses so whatever is there that will be the worst case and hence if we compare this as a d1 and this as the d2 and this is the center to center distance which is d1 so in this case d1 should be more than or equal to 2.5 times of d1 plus d2 which is the worst case what we have observed in case of cylindrical pressure vessel if it is along the length Theta becomes zero, and then uh, this d1 uh, was more than or equal to 2.5 times of d1 plus d2. In case of circumferential, or in case of distance, there are no variety of the stresses, and hence it is directly given as d1 must be greater than or equal to 2.5 times of d1 plus d2. What happens if this criteria has not been met? If this criteria is met, we don't have to perform any. reinforcement calculation but this criteria if not met in that case we need to perform the reinforcement calculations as per ug 37